even in the midst of the attacks against Pastor D, I could only say it is God raising a standard in the midst of it that he has kept both of us. Hallelujah. Because I've never felt the anointing as I am feeling and the sustenance and the strength as I'm feeling even in the midst of the attacks. Because when the enemy comes in, oh, come on, somebody. Like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard and say, devil, I know you're trying something, but don't you know you're defeated? Don't you know you can't handle me? You can't handle us? Because greater is he that is in me. Now, if you don't want to get excited, I've been excited. I'm excited in the Lord right now. And I tell you this, over the last two weeks, almost three weeks, I've been going straight. And I'm not complaining, only explaining. That when Sagan was full two weeks, that we were in prayer in this ministry. And I just had a hunger for God. And I knew that it was God who was telling me, hide myself in him. Because when we hide ourselves in him, the devil cannot move us. Come on somebody. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall I want you to understand this morning is that the enemy will come. It's when he comes that we got to make sure that the spirit in our lives, in our family, in our homes, that the spirit is given allowance to raise a standard. Come on, somebody. It's not that he will, devil will come. The devil will come because he's a miserable devil. He's a malicious devil. He's a devil that hates every one of us. So guess what? He is going to come. What are you and I going to do when he comes? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hear what the psalmist said in Psalms 150, that we will have a two-edged sword and we will have praise in our mouth unto God. What that is saying, and it says that we will be able to execute vengeance on the heathen. What is that talking about? Is that you've got to have the word in your heart and you've got to have the praises of God upon your lips. Nothing, absolute nothing, don't matter what, don't matter who comes your way, you should not allow anybody or anything to stop you from praising God because the Lord, come on somebody, inhabits the praises of his people. No wonder why the psalmist David say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually sometimes allow people to stop us from pressing through, from breaking through, from moving on and gone. But even the great apostle Paul would have said these words, forgetting those things that are behind me. The good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent, forgetting those things behind. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling that is in Jesus. If you're going to see the enemy off your back, even though he is standing in front of your face, you've got to allow the Spirit of God to raise a standard. The devil don't frighten for us. But he's frightened for God. Come on, somebody. Listen to me. The Spirit of God was with Jesus in the wilderness when he was being tempted. And because the Spirit of God was there and the Word of God was in his heart and he was seeking the face of God, the devil, when he came, God raised a standard. Come on, somebody. And stop the enemy. Block the enemy. Come on, somebody. Hinder the enemy. And we've got to make sure that through the, the spirit of the living God that we block, we stop, we, 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 we manhandle. Come on somebody, we rough up the enemy. We let the enemy know you shall not have victory over us. Because when you know you're standing on a solid rock and you know the power that you've got. Come on somebody, Satan cannot prevail. It does not mean he will not come. 
It does not mean he will not try. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, give the Lord a shout in the house of the Lord this morning. I don't know which piggy you are this morning. Come on, somebody. I said, don't know which piggy you are this morning. Turn to somebody and say, which piggy are you? I take you back all down when we were little boys and girls. There were three piggies. Come on, somebody. And they built their house. And the wolf came. How many remember the story? And the wolf came and blew. He said, you can blow my house. I ain't got to worry about you. But he blew it down and ate the piggy. Which piggy are you this morning? The second piggy thought that his house was, was re reinforced and, and nobody could get in. And the wolf came and said, I can handle you, piggy. I got my pot already cooking for you, piggy. I already ate your friend. I'm coming for you too. Come on, somebody. Tell, ask the person, which piggy are you this morning? Oh, come on, somebody. And when that wolf blew upon the house, he got in there. Which piggy are you this morning? And the wolf blew on the second house. But thank God, I hope that all of us are like the third piggy this morning. He was built on some solid foundation. He was built on a, a proper house. Come on, somebody. And that old wolf did all he wanted to do. He blew and 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 he blew. And he blew but could not move. And Jesus said it like this. Now, if your house is built on my word. He said, when the storms come, and when the winds come, and when the person, not if they come, brothers and sisters, even though we are saved and we're washing the blood, we've got to understand, we've got to be able to stand against our adversary, the devil. You hear me? Because Satan can come against every one of us. And as I go further into this message, I show you he's not a respect to nobody. Remember, God is not respect to no persons. Well, believe it, the devil is not respect of no persons. Whether you're from South Africa, whether you're from Russia, or you're from Mexico, or the Caribbean, the devil will come against every one of us. Some people feel that if they go into the low gossip and they're among Christian brethren and they're inside of it, nothing don't happen. But the devil himself will walk straight inside the logos and look for some piggies inside the logos too. Amen. It doesn't mean that because we have all, all the nice time. Look at brother, Pastor Dylan looking charming and nice, brother. Look good. But the devil frightened for no pink tie. It's what inside your heart. No one the word of God say, if I hide the word of God in my heart, I will not sin against God. What the devil is after is to get us to sin against God. Because he knows once we sin against God, we, he knows that that godly standard, that spirit standard cannot be raised. He ain't bothered about us singing songs. He ain't bothered about us talking towns. He just about whether we walk with God or not. But as one song really say, when we walk with the Lord. Come on somebody. In the light of his word. What a glory he shines about our way when we do his goodwill he what he abides with us still come on somebody amen once we trust and obey come on somebody trust and obey for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and sing it one more time. Trust and obey. For there is other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. Turn to the person next and say, you better trust and obey. You better trust and obey. And ask them again, which P are you? 